it's so difficult to reflect on the darkest times in your life. But sometimes you gotta do that. I was fucked up. I mean, I hit rock bottom, but I made no excuses. My behavior on that video is inexcusable. I take full responsibility for my actions in that video. I'm disgusted. I was disgusted then when I did it, I'm disgusted now. I went and I sought out professional help. I had to go into therapy, and go into rehab. I had to ask God for his mercy and grace. I'm so sorry. But I'm committed to be a better man each and every day. I'm not asking for forgiveness. I'm truly sorry. He didn't apologize for what he did. He apologized for what we've seen. Because if this is the best he can do, he was better off saying nothing. He must be so mad he couldn't squeeze a tear out. Not once did he say Cass's name. Not once. Abusers like him love saying they went to therapy and rehab. You really need professionals to tell you not to beat your girlfriend. But hey, I guess he got help from TD Jake, so he's good. Never forget, last year he told us Cassie was lying. And all the celebs that was buddy-buddy with him until last year mute now. Time to put all these weirdos out of here. If he is going down, they know they not far behind. That's their kin. The crazy thing is, that's just one video. Imagine what was done behind closed doors to who knows how many others. From what I recall, Cassie's lawsuit was very lengthy and plenty more happened before and after 2016. Is Diddy just not going to talk about those allegations either or do we just need to wait for more videos to come out? But hey, I guess we'll wait for what 2024 has in store for this man and all the other deviants. But let me know what you think in the comments down below.